Hello and welcome to the Horihi Suzumiya Iceberg Explained. To create this iceberg, I took two I found on Reddit, took out all the fan theories and added a few facts of my own. If you want a video discussing fan theories, please like, comment and subscribe. And without further ado, let's start. Horihi Suzumiya is a Japanese light novel series written by Nagaru Tanigawa and illustrated by Noisy Ito. The first novel, The Melancholy, was published on the 6th of June 2003, with his most recent novel, The Intuition, being published on the 22nd of November 2020. The plot revolves around a high schooler named Kyon and three other students, Yuki Nagato, Mikiru Asahina, and Itsuki Koizumi are forced to join the SOS Brigade, a club created by Haruhi in order to find strange phenomenon such as aliens, time travelers, and espers, in hopes of hanging out with them. The manga is a direct adaptation of the first 11 light novels, with its art being drawn by Gaku Tsugano, and was published between the 26th of September 2005 and the 26th of September 2013, with a total of 20 volumes. The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya Anime is a two-season adaptation that was produced by Kyoto Animation. Its first season ran from the 2nd of April to the 2nd of July 2006, for a total of 14 episodes. Its second season ran from the 22nd of May to the 11th of September 2009, with a total of 28 episodes. The Disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya is a 2010 anime film based on the light novel of the same name. The plot revolves around Kyon waking up on December 18th to find out that the world has completely changed around him and nobody remembers who Haruhi is. The film is widely regarded by anime fans to be one of the best anime films ever created. The Endless Eight is an eight episode arc in the season two anime where the SOS Brigade repeat the last two weeks of summer vacation. It is infamous for, well, basically being the same episode eight times in a row. Despite the similarities, each episode is animated completely differently. Many of the locations in the anime are based on actual locations in Japan, with the most obvious example being North High, which is based on the Nishinomiya Kita High School in the Hyogo Prefecture. This is something that's quite common in anime, with a notable example being Your Name. There are many spin-offs in the Haruhi franchise, the most well-known being Haruhi-chan, which was a four-panel gag manga created by Puyo that spawned a 24-episode web anime featuring exaggerated characters of the main cast, like Yuki Nagato being a massive fan of video games. The other spin-off was called Nyuren Chiyura-san, which was a one-shot manga that was released in 2008, created by Ereto, and spawned a 13-episode web anime with the plot revolving around a new character, Chiruya, being bullied by the main cast. The Disappearance of Yuki Nagato is a manga that ran from the 4th of July 2009 to the 4th of August 2016 with a total of 10 volumes, and was later adapted into a 16 episode anime that was released in the spring of 2015, which was produced by Studio Satellite, and follows an alternate timeline where Haruhi never got her powers, and aliens, time travelers and espers never existed, with the main focus of the plot being a romantic comedy between Kyon and Yuki Nagato. Harahara Yuka is the ending theme to the Haruhi anime, which was sung by the voice actor for Haruhi, Aya Hirano. The song became a worldwide sensation among anime fans, with flash mobs of the song being performed at every con. If you were an anime fan during the mid to late 2000s, you could not get away from this song. 
The Horahi anime was not originally released in chronological order, but instead released almost completely out of order, with random episodes between arcs. This prompted fans to create a chronological watch order for a better viewing experience. Each of the main characters in the anime have their own albums with the songs being sung by the Japanese voice actors. You can find pretty much all these songs on YouTube. There are 16 albums in total, spanning across two sets. There is also an orchestral album, titled The Symphony of Haruhi Suzumiya. There are many scenes in the franchise that depict Koizumi and Kion's buddy-buddy relationship. And in the novels, Koizumi at one point says, If it wasn't for the agency, we could be best friends. There is even an official spin-off manga that's solely dedicated to Koizumi and Kion stories. In both the novels and the anime, Haruhi is clearly shown to have romantic feelings towards Kion. However, it's never stated whether Kion reciprocates the feelings. Whether or not they become a couple at the end is still speculation. During the Dissociation and the Surprise light novels, we are introduced to Sasaki, a high schooler that Kion met at Cram School. We later find out that there are people who believe that Sasaki is the rightful owner of Haruhi's powers. She's seen being accompanied by... Kyoko Tashibana, who believes that Sasaki gave her her Esper powers. Kyoso, a humanoid interface created by the Sky Canopy Dominion. And Fujiwara, a time traveler from a faction of time travelers that believe that time travel should have never existed. Also, massive spoiler, we find out he's from an alternate timeline where Asahina is his sister who died. So he believes by giving Sasuke Haruhi's powers, he can change the future to where Asahina is alive in his future. Yasumi Watashi is a first year at North High who tries out to join the SOS Brigade during the Dissociation and the Surprise. We find out she is actually the personification of Haruhi's subconscious, who split the timeline in two and then fused it back together. Her name is also a play on words. By rearranging the syllables, it spells out Watashi Suzumiya, which translates to I am Suzumiya. Kyonkun Demwa is a meme that spawned during the Endless 8 anime. During the start of each episode, Kyon's sister utters the phrase and it's a constant reminder to the audience that we are still stuck in the Endless Loop. Haruhi.tv is the official website that was used as a way of promoting the anime. The website is also made to look like the website seen in the anime. You can still visit this website, however with the anime being over, it's pretty much a dead website. Haruhiism is a religious belief that Haruhi is the one true god. It's more of a meme, but there is a very in-depth guide on how to practice the religion, such as commandments, fasting, and even pilgrimages. Aya Hirano is the Japanese voice actor for Haruhi Suzumiya. She also sang all the openings and endings for the anime, as well as God Knows and Lost My Music in the episode Live Alive. There was also a tour called The Extravagance of Haruhi Suzumiya, where Aya and the rest of the cast performed songs from the anime, and overall had a very successful singing career, until photos of her kissing one of her bandmates leaked, pretty much destroying her career, because Japan. Although she is done to make a comeback as of late, with her latest role being Dende in the new Dragon Ball superhero movie. T is a character that was introduced in the intuition of Haruhi Suzumiya. She's a first year transfer student, most likely from Germany. She is a member of the Mystery Research Club, and she visits the SOS Brigade, asking if they can solve the Seven Wonders of North High. Lucky Star is an anime that came out in April of 2007. 
The anime is about four high school girls going about their day-to-day -day slice of life, but it is filled with references to anime and otaku culture. A lot of these references were Haruhi related, which was very popular at the time. Lucky Star was also produced by Kyoto Animation, the same studio that produced the Haruhi Suzumiya anime, and features many of the same voice actors, most notably Aya Hirano, who plays Konata, who is the otaku in the friend group. In the sixth episode of the Haruhi anime, Kyon refers to Mikuru as Tokyo Kakeru Shoujo, which can translate to The Girl Who Leaped Through Time, which is a Japanese novella written by Yatsutaka Tsutsui. It also got made into an animated film in 2006, directed by Mamoru Hosoda. The 2008 manga adaptation of Haruhi was not the first. There was a single volume manga created by Mizuno Makoto that was released in 2004 that got immediately cancelled. There are two running theories for this. One being that the editors thought that the art was so bad that they didn't want it to be continued. And the other one is that he may or may not have been drawing and selling Haruhi hentai. Kyonko is the gender-bent version of Kyon. There is a lot of fan art of not just Kyon, but all the other characters as gender-bent versions. That's pretty much it. During the episode Remote Island Syndrome Part 2, after solving the not-murder of Mr. Keiichi, Haruhi strikes the famous objection pose from Ace Attorney. Also, fun fact, in the novel, Kyon's sister never joins them and the entire brigade gets shit-faced on wine. Very generic, but there are quite a few Haruhi Suzumiya games. There's a PS2 RPG, a PlayStation 3 visual novel, a PSP visual novel, a Wii dancing game, but my personal favourite, because it's the only one I can actually play, is Suzumiya Haruhi no Gekido, which is a 3D battle arena for the PC. I suck at the game, but it's pretty fun. Haruhi is a Haruhi abridged series created by My Toaster is Moist. It's currently 15 episodes. The first episode was released in 2013, and the newest episode was released in 2019. So, do you watch anime? I hate anime. <laughs> I'm not joking. What the fuck? During Bamboo Leaf Rhapsody, a young Haruhi asks Kyon for his name, and he replies with John Smith, which is one of the most common first and last names in English. But many fans believe, due to the time travel aspect of the episode, that it's a Doctor Who reference. Whenever a character asks for the Doctor's full name in the show, he replies with Dr. John Smith. Other people believe that it could be a reference to the anime My Daddy Long Legs, which is about an orphan who gets the opportunity to go to a prestigious high school completely paid for by a mysterious man who goes by John Smith. So it could be a Doctor Who reference or a My Daddy Long Legs reference, or maybe Tanigawa googled the most common name in English. I am not smart enough to explain this properly, but I'm gonna give it a go. Basically, a guy on 4chan worked out the minimum number of episodes you would have to watch of the original 14 episode anime in order to see every possible combination. TLDR, a guy on 4chan solved a 25 year old math problem using anime. And if you want to know how many episodes that is, 93,884,313,611 episodes to watch the first season in every possible order. In the last five or so years, Haruhi has had a lot of collaborations. Kamihime Project Gacha, which is a gacha game that had a Haruhi event, a PUBG collaboration, Yes, you heard that correctly. Haruhi, Yuki, and Mikuru were all in PUBG. A Remake Our Life collab, 
and Perfume. The Perfume collab is an interesting story. In Japan, they were doing a special one-day screening of the Disappearance movie, where on Twitter, they said they were going to have a special announcement on the day. Many fans believe that this was going to be the long-awaited Season 3, or possibly a movie, but no, it was a Perfume collab. Disappointing many fans, myself included. A Japanese commercial for Akio Gum featured Haruhi Mikiru and not one, not two, but three Neko Yuki Nagatos. Just Japanese commercials being weird as always. During a Canadian Tylenol Rapid commercial, a girl can be seen in her room listening to music with a Haruhi poster in the background. What's weird is that I've never seen this poster outside of this commercial. So I wonder where they got it from. In both the Peppa Pig Christmas special and the Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom Christmas special, you can see Christmas cards with Haruhi on them. This is real. I thought this was fake, but I've checked the episode myself and it's real. Both shows were created by the same people, so my guess is one of the animators is a fan of Haruhi. In the episode Live Alive, Kyon gets harassed by two guys, one dressed as Hard Gay, who is a famous Japanese TV personality, <laughs> and the other is dressed as Akihiro Miwa, a famous Japanese singer-slash-drag queen, and who also voiced Moro in Princess Mononoke. During Live Alive, the play that Koizumi is performing, is Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead, which is a parody play of Shakespeare's Hamlet, told from the point of view of the two characters. The reference doesn't really serve anything for the plot, it seems just very randomly added. Oh boy. I found out about this from the YouTuber Core. He goes way more in depth on this subject but I'll try and give you the cliff notes. In 2014, Kyoto Animations did a collaboration with New Type Magazine and Sankyo, where they placed 707 frames of a never-before-seen Haruhi music video. So what you did was you take the photo and post it to the website, and once all 707 frames were found, a music video to the sound of Lost My Music would play. Many people were very excited about this. This was finally going to be the announcement of Season 3. But no, it was a fucking pachinko machine. People running around Tokyo trying to find frames of Haruhi, and it was all for a Haruhi Suzumiya pachinko machine. All of the novels that you see Yuki reading are real. The most obvious one is the novel Hyperion by Dan Simmons. Most of the novels that she's seen reading center around the ideas of AI. Also, I actually read Hyperion because of this, and it is probably the greatest novel I have ever read. So check it out if you're a big fan of sci-fi. The first time we see Shami-san, the cat, it is in the episode 00, which is the first episode in the broadcast order. The cat was voiced by Steve Kramer. Stop talking and get on hey, with it. The only thing Stop. you have to do is... But during the season 2 Psy arc, he was replaced by Michael McConey. Either one's okay with me. I think a lot of people didn't notice this. It was either because it was the first episode they watched, so they forgot what the voice sounded like, or because they just skipped the episode entirely, like me. Is a creepy pasta where Haruhi drugs everyone in the club room and checks to see if they're all human, and discovers that Yuki is an alien, and reveals to Kyon that she knew all along that she was a god. The photo of Haruhi holding a gun to her head is way more popular than the creepypasta itself. A SOS Brigade is a live-action web series that ran between 2006 
in 2011. It was an official web series that was made to promote the Haruhi Suzumiya anime. It features Patricia J. Lee as Haruhi Suzumiya, who starts up a brigade in America to make sure that the English dub of the anime is going well. Yuki and Mikuru are also there, but for some reason they only speak Japanese and everyone can understand them, because it's tech and logic, I guess. A lot of the episodes were considered lost media, until the YouTuber Tonsa tracked down the last remaining episodes and posted the whole series onto YouTube. Check it out. My favourite moment in the web series is probably when Patricia J. Lee and Johnny Young Bosch meet, and they have this sort of, hey, you look familiar kind of moment. You know, you look kind of familiar to me. I, I can't exactly place it. Have we met before? Yeah. I'm sorry, I must be thinking of somebody else. The Day of Sagittarius 3 is a fictional game in the series that the Computer Club creates. It's a search and destroy multiplayer space battle game. The cool thing is that people have actually made their own fan game of this. I'm not sure if you can still download it these days, but it's just awesome that there were people out there that were such big fans of the anime that they made their own fan game of a game that exists in the Haruhi universe. The first shot in the Haruhi anime opening is a reference to the 1995 anime opening of The Vision of Escaflone. During the English dubbing of The Endless Eight, Bandai considered doing a gag dub for the English version. Some ideas included having the voice actors do accents, and another idea was having the voice actors play each other. The idea was eventually scrapped and they decided to play the whole thing straight. Stephen Crane was an American poet that was born in 1871. He wrote the poem, A Man Said to the Universe. It goes like this. A man said to the universe, Sir, I exist. However, replied the universe, the fact has not created in me a sense of obligation. Where this ties in with Haruhi, a young Haruhi, after finding out how small she is in the grand scheme of the universe, decides that on Tanabata to write an alien message on the soccer field that says, I am here. It's her way of telling the universe that she exists. I have no idea if it was intentional, but it's just one of those things where it feels like it just has to be. In Tokorozawa, in the Saitama prefecture, there are manhole covers with LED displays on them that light up during the night to improve the image of the local sewer system and to prevent night crime. There are about 27 of these LED displays, with one of them being, of course, Haruhi Suzumiya. The plot of the episode Live Alive is basically, during the school cultural festival, Haruhi and Yuki are roped into playing for a school band because one of the members breaks her hand. It's a great episode. Linda 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 is a 2005 Japanese film that revolves around an all-female rock band that has its guitarist sidelined due to a hand injury, and also its lead singer quits after an argument just weeks before the school cultural festival. So, the remaining members ask Sun, a Korean exchange student, if she will be the new singer. She agrees and the plot goes from there. The episode follows the plot of the movie pretty closely, and Sun actually makes a cameo in the episode. On the 7th of July, 2007, in order to promote Season 2 of Haruhi, a 22 and a half minute video was uploaded to the official Haruhi website. The video was a live action version of Bamboo Leaf Rhapsody, told from the perspective of a security camera. It's kind of creepy and unsettling. The Abyss. Most of these are just jokes, but there are a few facts. In the entire Haruhi canon, Kyon's sister is never mentioned by name. Not in the light novels, anime or manga is it ever mentioned. Haruhi x Kyonko. Basically, fanfiction and 
doujin of Haruhi with Kyon's gender bent version. Season 3. It's probably not gonna happen. I mean, if Bleach can come back after 10 years, Index after 6, and The Devil is a Part Timer after 8 years, it's possible, but highly unlikely. TMA Hahiru. TMA is a certain type of Japanese film studio that specializes in anime parodies, including Haruhi. You can find some of these on YouTube without the plot, but it's surprising how one-to-one -one accurate these are. Haruhi Sky is a famous doujin artist that specializes in Haruhi art. Endless 8 is secretly a masterpiece. There is nothing more to be said. It is a masterpiece. The struggle that you go through watching those 8 episodes is just a fraction of what Yuki had to go through. And it helps you better understand her actions in the Disappearance movie. The background characters in Live Alive are fucking hilarious. Like, who the fuck is this guy? And who the fuck is that? Is this a real bunny girl? Who the hell are all these people? Did Haruhi subconsciously bring all these people here? Yeah, probably. And that concludes the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya Iceberg Explained. This video took about two years to get the courage to actually make it, so if you did watch until the end, Thank you for watching.